We're back. Thank you so much for staying with us. And we are continuing with our conversation with our expert of the day, Kennedy. And we left it at, yes, we are using machines to measure the pyrethrin content from the flowers our farmers bring. What are we doing to make sure that we do not have faulty machines in operation? We actually have three methods mm -hmm. of uh, checking each other. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the ultra violet rays mm -hmm. and then uh, we have uh, high, high performance mm -hmm. liquid uh, method mm -hmm. and then we have uh, the, the chemistry. Mm -hmm. If those fail then uh, we just revert to that beaker, beaker thing. Mm -hmm. uh, the beaker and the Mm -hmm. So yes. at the end of the day, you can guarantee accuracy. You guarantee accuracy. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. there's been a lot of conversations on reviving the pyrethrum sector because we used to do so very well in the 90s. Part of the plan, of course, is increasing the acreage of land under pyrethrum. But I would also like to hear from you, besides that, what more? Uh, we are modernizing and shifting from extraction of uh, uh, pyrethrins through hexane mm -hmm. that's a solvent mm -hmm. to uh, carbon dioxide mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. uh, you like uh, you are required uh, you are, you, you are re the requirement of uh, of uh, pyrethrins mm -hmm. extraction mm -hmm. it requires like uh, 200 kilos of hexane which is very expensive and not even available mm -hmm. uh, against 15 kilos of carbon dioxide mm -hmm. f to extract flowers from one ton. Mm -hmm. Yes. Has that started happening or it's in the pipeline? It is in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. Yes. When we are talking about digitizing, even the factories where the value addition of the pyrethrum happens, have we started making headway with using modern day technology? Because you find in a place like Nakuru, which produces a lot of pyrethrum, the factory is still using very old techniques and methods of working on the pyrethrum. Is that a direction we need to pay attention to? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to pay attention to that because uh, like uh, the way I'm, I'm telling you mm -hmm. that uh, hexane mm -hmm. is uh, not available. Mm -hmm. It's not available mm -hmm. and uh, it has to be uh, imported mm -hmm. uh, when it's required. All right. Yes. Then uh, in carbon dioxide, mm -hmm. it's just available. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's part of the modernization that we are trying to implement. Yes. Now, climate change is real and it's affecting our farmers' way of doing agriculture. Let's talk about what we are doing in the pyrethrum sector so that even in the wake of climate change, we are still sustainable in pyrethrum farming. Yeah, climate change is real mm -hmm. and uh, it affects pyrethrum mm -hmm. uh, during uh, heavy rains. Mm -hmm. Pyrethrum does not uh, like water logging, mm -hmm. so the roots will rot, and then the production will go down. Mm -hmm. And then uh, during the long dry spells, mm -hmm. uh, it also production will also reduce. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. So we we are we we are having a department mm -hmm. of uh, breeding. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we, we are we are breeding a uh, an an uh, like a hybrid. Yes, like mm -hmm. a hybrid mm -hmm. that uh, will uh, tolerate the climate change. Mm -hmm. So yeah. a hybrid variety of pyrethrum that is more resistant to the changes in climate change. So yes. that means there has to be a lot of collaboration with research centers. Yes. All right. And personalities who are able to do that work. Do we have enough of them? Are they equipped enough? Are they empowered? Is that something that we can say can happen as soon or there's still a lot of work that needs to be done in that sector? Uh, our own uh, CEO mm -hmm. is a plant breeder. All right. And then we collaborate with the uh, Calero. Mm -hmm. 
mm -hmm. uh, color for the breeding. Mm -hmm. Yes. Very quickly, and I mean, something that I've not seen, but I want to find out, is it advisable to do intercropping when you're doing pirate ram farming? Yes and no. Expound more on that. Uh, pirate ram can be intercropped with avocados mm -hmm. uh, because of the large spacing mm -hmm. of the avocado. Right. Yes, but uh, any other crop cannot be intercropped because uh, when uh, the, ex the, the bush expands, mm -hmm. it, it covers uh, the spacing mm -hmm. of uh, one, one foot by two feet. All right. Yes, it covers the whole, the whole field. Mm -hmm. So it cannot be intercropped. So the safe way to intercrop avocado uh, to intercrop our pirate ram right now is with avocados. Yes. All right. Now, still in the plans of increasing, um, I mean, acreage of land under pirate ram. We know Nakuru is very major when it comes to pirate ram and uh, about 19 other counties. But are we exploring new grounds? I mean, new areas that can do so well with pirate ram farming, but we have not started doing it in those regions for a reason or another. Is that in the works? Yeah, that is in the works. Uh, we, we had uh, uh, those days, the potential mm -hmm. in those areas. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are reviving them. Mm -hmm. Like in uh, Nandi, mm -hmm. uh, we, we had a field day. Mm -hmm and uh, a nursery in Kaimosi, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of acreage was planted, mm -hmm. uh, about 18 acres. All right. Yes. And then maybe very finally, as we wind up this conversation, talk to us about employment opportunities in the value chain of pirate ram so that that young person who's watching us right now doesn't only feel like with pirate ram the only job i can get is being in the farm mimi dona lima and a panda what other spaces can young people tap into very quickly uh, okay right now mm -hmm. there, there is uh, there are nursery providers mm -hmm. who provide the uh, seedlings mm -hmm. and then uh, the 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 whole value chain mm -hmm. includes transportation Great. of uh, of erythrum dry flowers, and then uh, 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 making those gunny bags. Mm -hmm. And yes. more research people as well. Yes, and right, more because now we are trying to get a hybrid. Yes. All right. Thank you so very much, Kennedy, for talking to us and making time to be with us today. It has been an absolute pleasure learning on what we can do when it comes to reviving the pirate ram sector. And I do have a question for you, which here we always have a farm joke of the day. And my question for you is, why is a mushroom invited to every party? You have two seconds to give me an answer. Because it applies. It applies? Because it applies. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason as to why a mushroom is invited to every party, it's because it is a fungi, which is fun guy, <laughs> if you think about it. All right, thank you so very much, Kennedy, for making time to be with us today. Of course, the team that is working so much to make sure that this production is top tier. Thank you very much. And our audience for choosing to be with us every single day of the week. We say a very big thanks. We'll see you tomorrow, where our focus is on climate, smart agriculture, and sustainability. My name is Violetta Angina. Goodbye.